Good morning, this is case reports part 9. This is case 1. This is a baby with ROP, born week 24, and examined according to schedule from week 31. These are the pictures from week 32. It looks calm. We have thin and straight vessels and no ROP is visible in the periphery. So now you can see that the vessels are getting thicker and uh, there is not yet ROP visible. Now you see in the temporal periphery uh, the ridge. So this is ROP stage 1 to 2. We have thicker vessels and now the thing is progressing. We have um, tortuous vessels and more ROP but there is no hemorrhage visible. Now there is much torturosity and um, we come into ROP stage 3 plus which is very um, obvious now. Now you even see hemorrhages on the right um, fundus and now laser treatment was initiated. Seven days after laser treatment, uh, this picture was taken. You see a central detachment. What would you do? Would you wait, give steroids, do a vitrectomy, or anti VEGF? Well, uh, we recommended intervitreal lucentis, which was given, and three days after, you see it's much calmer picture, the little focal detachment in the macula, and seven days, seven days later, we have a very calm and quiet eye, and no detachment is visible. Case two. A six-year-old girl presents in OPD due to squint in left eye. Visual acuity is 1.0 and 0 0.6 in the left eye. Opus photographs. So this is the right eye. It looks normal, but please look in the temporal periphery at the vessels, which are not normal. But more obvious is the left eye with a very uh, big proliferation and fold of the macula, optos angiography, this is the right eye which looks normal on fundus, you see the big proliferation on the temporal side, now the left eye and again a very big proliferation uh, of the retina on the temporal side. So we performed a LEO, which is an indirect laser with a helmet, an injection of ILEA in general anesthesia. And here comes the three weeks follow-up. The right eye, you see the laser coagulation on the temporal side. And now the left eye, you see also laser coagulation on the temporal side, but still this fold is very prominent and visible. One more picture of the same eye. Visicurity has reduced to hand movement, so I decided to perform a vitrectomy 27 gauge for this macular fold. This is a 27 gauge forceps ultra peel um, from Dork. It has round edges, so the risk to injure the retina is very small. So now I'm trying to grab the posterior hyaloid. And 
end. Did you see? Now the fold opens. To open the fold so that the macula is visible again. These are the pre op photographs of the patient, the girl, and this is the post-op photograph, the, again the pre-op photograph in a higher zoom. Here comes the post-op photograph. You see that the fold is open. The fold is open and here you see that the macula is visible. So the surgery was successful and the macula is visible and opened. And visual acuity is 0 0.25. Preoperative it was hand movement. Thank you very much.